called them up. Hello, welcome to the random podcast. Today's podcast, we're talking about football. I'm here with Cade. He knows a lot about football, so he's going to be joining me. So, to start off today, we're going to be talking about Nick Saban's replacement. And Nick Saban got fired. Did he get fired or did he just leave? Retired. Retired. So he didn't get fired. And D. Bower is going to be replacing Saban. And he, uh, the 72 year old coach announces retirement. And the 49 year old D. Bower is a former NAIA coach who led Washington to the national championship game in the second season. Now he takes over a program where Saban then made that kind of excess and annual expectation. So, you know about him. Cade, what do you think about uh, D. Um, going to Washington? Alabama. Alabama, yeah. So, I think that it's, it is sad for Washington fans, but he was, it was a great coach, and I think he will do really well at Alabama. And, yeah, that's about it. Okay, so... Let's see. So they have not found a coach for Washington yet, but they are looking for one right now. So next, we're going to be talking about... Yeah, they do. What, who is it? Um, It's like Joe... Joe... But you know they have somebody? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then Pete Carroll's uh, son is actually the Washington offensive coordinator. So that's a cool fact. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, now for Jim... Harbaugh <coughs> is Harbaugh. Le- Harbaugh. Har- Harbaugh. Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh is leaving Michigan to coach the Chargers next season. What are your predictions for the Chargers? Do they make the playoffs? Do they no, not? I don't. I still don't think they make the playoffs. I um so, Jim Harbaugh. I don't like Jim Harbaugh that much. So I just think. I think Jim Harbaugh will do a good job, but I don't think the Chargers just can't win games for some reason. I don't know why, but I think they'll do better than this season. I don't think they're going to do great, though. They might make the playoffs, but then they're probably going to lose first round. Yeah. So, the three teams that fired their coaches, they didn't leave. So, we know Bill Belichick left. We know Pete Carroll left. But the three that got fired were um, Los Angeles Chargers fired Mike, uh, what's his name? I have no idea. Brandon Staley. Brandon Staley got fired, the Raiders head coach got fired, and the Panthers got head coach got fired. The Panthers and Raiders are still looking for a head coach. Wait, it says 2024. It says 2023. I know, but nothing has happened in the 2024 yet. Okay. And so I think the Chargers might make the play, maybe like seven seed, but I don't see anything other than that. The AFC is pretty competitive. Actually, I don't even see them making it because the AFC is pretty competitive. And, um,. Yeah, so let's go on to the next segment. Alright, for our next segment, we're going to be talking about mock drafts. So, Cade, do you think the Chicago Bears will get out of here, Shady House? Do you think they'll be drafting Caleb Williams, or do they stick with Justin Fields? I think they will be. Uh, here's what I think what's going to happen. They're going to trade up. For Justin Fields for a higher spot. So they're going to trade Justin Fields for a higher spot. In they're the draft. number one pick. Yeah, but like how? But much like the next draft. They're, oh, they're going to trade They're going to trade, gonna trade him yeah, away? They're going to trade him away. And then they're going to draft Caleb Williams. So yes, I do think they will draft Caleb Williams. But I do not think that, that will be good for them. I think... I think they're going to... I don't think they're going to draft Caleb Williams. Actually, they probably will because they're... Head coaches are booty, and the front office is booty, so they probably will, and then waste Justin Fields' talent. But and then Justin Fields is Justin probably Fields is a go. good quarterback, though. I think they should take him. Mm-hmm. For the Washington Commanders, if the Chicago Bears do not take Caleb Williams, Caleb Williams then wait, I, wait. The, the Commanders need to draft a QB. So I, I see them. The, so the top two picks are is either gonna be Drake Be- May out of North Carolina, he's a QB, or, or Caleb, Caleb Williams. Williams, and whatever. So the the commanders or, the commanders are gonna draft. What I see, or I see Marvin Harrison Jr. going to um to either Chicago. 
I don't think he'll go to, uh, but I, he might go to the Patriots. I don't see him going to the Commanders, though, but I think... The Commanders already I have think, skilled I think Marvin top. Harrison Jr. will be top three pick. I don't see him falling to number four to the Cardinals. Imagine him going to the Cardinals, though. Him and Kyler Murray? Mm -hmm. That'd be crazy. And then, yeah, so now we're going to talk about positions that each of our teams need. He is a Seahawks fan. I am a Packers fan. When did the Seahawks pick? Hold on. They're 16. How do you know that? Because I've been following. Okay. Okay. Seattle Seahawks. I don't agree with that either. Okay, go to the beer. Search the beer. You, you, no, it's fine. Right, whatever. So... <clears throat> Packers, I think Jordan. I don't. We don't need a QB. Jordan Love is good. We. What do you think? You think yeah, we should, Do you think we should draft the QB, Kate? No. Okay. So I think our wide receiver core is really good if we get everybody back, with Christian Watson, Jaden Reed, and um. What's the other kid's name? The other kid's name. Yeah. Bro, get out of here! Let's get out of my room! How are you doing the podcast? Alright, we're back now. Again, I'm sorry. But, I think the Packers, we don't need wide receivers. Our O-line is good. Actually, I could see us, yeah, I could see us taking an O-line or a D-line. Oh, it's safety. Mm, no, we have good corners. Good, we have Jair Alexander. Old, and we have Darnell Savage. Old. They're not... Jair Alexander is not old. He's Savage? like 25. Savage is like 27. Okay. It's not that old. Alright. As I was saying, we could use O-line. We could use D-line. We could use linebackers. Our linebackers are booty. We need better linebackers. And then we could use a better... Our running backs are both crazy. We have A.J. Dillon and Aaron Jones was going crazy. And... We could use a better fullback. We could use... Our tight ends were doing good, but we could use a... If we could get one of those high tight ends, that'd be good, too. So, yeah. I think our corners... If we draft a corner, I wouldn't be mad. Or, if, say, if we draft a safety, I wouldn't be mad. But I don't think we need those positions. So, okay. What do you think your team needs in the draft? Mm -hmm. Well, we need uh, defensive linemen. Uh, we... Our defensive linemen are... Asking for way too much money. Um, but or who and even are your defensive linemen? Exactly. <laughs> uh, um, oh, our O linemen, they're like third string O linemen. So it's not that good. So you need O linemen. We need O linemen. But here is what I think. Who I think we should draft. I'm, I'm, when I say this, let, let it just sit here for a moment. Okay. J J McCarthy. No. You guys don't need a QB. Our, yes, we do. Dino Smith. Is old. He's like thirty six. How old is he? Thirty. I don't know. Thirty. He's in his thirties. He is. Uh, we don't even have a new. We don't even have a head coach. And uh, if we drafted JJ, like we have a very very skilled um, receiver. How come it doesn't say his age? Receiver department. Dino Smith is thirty three. Oh my lord! I didn't know he was that old. Uh, we have a very, very skilled receiver trio. We have... We, we know what we have, Gabe. We have DK we know, Metcalf. Like, you know, we know. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Lockett, Lockett is old! No, he's not. He's younger than Geno Smith. Tyler Lockett. 31! He's not that old. He's, yes, he, for a wide receiver? Yes, okay. he is. Well, uh, but he's still really good. He's better than... Most receivers in the NFL, especially the Packers. Bro. And then DK's twenty six. Yeah, that's not old at all. Exactly, I know. But comparing to and then Jackson Smith and Jigba, he just needs more chances. So I think, and no, not many people realize this, but if you watched the college championship game and you saw JJ McCarthy use his legs, and his his arm is low, he was a very um, talented athlete. So I think we should draft Bro, JJ McCarthy. What? JJ McCarthy is not even good. He gets carried by his team. Your team is not going to carry him. Alright. Anyways, 
let's listen to the uh, team who made the playoffs here. So, I think we need D-line, O-line, linebackers. That's what we need. Our, Our linebackers are pretty good. We got Bobby um, Wagner. Washed. He's old and washed. He's dookie. He still led the league in tackles, actually. So I watched him play, and he was so dookie. He was so slow. Okay, maybe he's not bad, but he is so slow. Most linebackers are. In case you didn't know. Well, our linebackers are actually pretty fast. You just said very, our, your linebackers are dookie. But they're fast, and they don't look like they're walking. Would you rather have your linebackers be fast? Or be strong in tackling. Who are your Who are your linebackers? Bobby, Bobby Wagner? Wagner, Jordan Brooks, that and that's it. Mm. That's pretty much it. And then those are our two stars. All right, who is who is making the Super Bowl and who is winning the Super Bowl, Kim? I, want I have the line. Stop talking. You just asked me. <laughs> so my personal <coughs> opinion: Lions versus KC. Very debatable pick. Listen. I don't know how they do it, but Casey ends up always winning somehow, and then they sell. Because they they make it to the Super Bowl, lose, then they make it AFC Championship, lose, and then they win a Super Bowl. So by that, algorithm, yeah, that's they what go they, to the Super Bowl first, and then the AFC Championship listen, afterwards? Like, back-to-back -back years. That is the algorithm that has been going by, so I believe they make the Super Bowl, Lions win the Super Bowl. Yep, that's my pick. For me, it's going to be Baltimore Lions. Okay, and who's winning? I want the Lions to win, but I think Baltimore will be the win. And All right. the reason I say Lions will beat the 49ers is because the Lions, it actually depends on the weather. You saw how bad Brock Purdy did in the Packers game. They he were was, playing at home. He was horrible. He was playing he at was home. He was absolutely Horrible. Yeah, it was, it was but he the worst. It was oh, the You're talking worst. about weather. Yeah, he was playing at exactly. a home stadium. It doesn't. It doesn't usually rain in San Francisco. That's what I'm saying. If Brock, if if there is good weather, um, at, at Levi Stadium on Sunday, then I think I would not be surprised if the 49ers win. But I, I think Brock pretty sucks, and I think the Lions are going to win either way. But. The 49ers defense might carry, and just, like, be they, an just like they did versus the Packers. So, good job, 49ers, but Brock Purdy, you're dookie. We should have won. <coughs> have a nice day.